At Agility Fuel Systems, all of our CNG storage systems meet or exceed NFPA 52, the National Fire Protection Association standard for natural gas vehicles. NFPA 52 requires that each natural gas cylinder have at least one pressure relief device, or PRD, attached to it. The PRD is a one-way valve with a fusible material such as a lead alloy inside. In case of a vehicle fire, when the temperature reaches 219 degrees Fahrenheit, 104 degrees Celsius, the fusible material melts and lets the gas in the cylinder vent safely to the atmosphere. This keeps the cylinder from bursting. PRDs must be in direct communication with the fuel in the cylinder through a non-valved port. You might assume that because they are called pressure relief devices, that pressure causes the release of gas. Actually, it doesn't. These valves are only activated by heat. PRDs are typically found in two locations on each cylinder. One location is at each end if the cylinder has two boss ends. If the cylinder doesn't have bosses on both ends, then it will have remote PRDs attached to it. A live gas line is run from the manual shutoff valve around the back of the cylinder with PRDs placed in that line at one-third and two-thirds of the length of the cylinder. This way, there's always a PRD in proximity to where a flame might occur. A PRD is only good for a single use. A used, leaking, or defective PRD cannot be repaired. It must be replaced. There is no service valve between the PRD and the cylinder. So if you find a leak on a PRD line, or you have a faulty PRD, you must completely defuel the cylinder before repairing the line or replacing the PRD. So those are the important facts about pressure relief devices. Let's move on and review the steps required to depressurize the system.